All right, guys, we're flipping up in this truck for the first time. And fortunately, there's three lanes on this side of the road. <laughs> first gear, ain't much there. Second gear, not much to that one either. Third gear. All right, well, we are getting a late start again. Uh, we stayed at one of the Walmarts in Billings and we got a lot done this morning in terms, in terms of organization for the camper. We're trying to dial in that ice chest type refrigerator and uh, well, it's noon or quarter past noon. Um, we're still kind of undecided on where we're gonna go but we just decided to pick Cody, Wyoming. There's a uh, free BLM area kind of right outside there that we thought we'd give it a shot. Uh, go lay low for a couple days maybe. Who knows? Life is so fluid when you're on the road and that's one of the things that we like the most about it. Um, gosh, that's about it. Anything from you? Feels good to be actually on the road. I know. Oh yeah. So we did dial in some more <laughs> organizational stuff in the camper and when we get a camp set up tonight we'll make sure to show that to you. I have something that I have to share. I just saw the funniest billboard I think I might have ever seen in my life. It said, when your swipe right goes wrong, free pregnancy and STD testing. <laughs> what was it a business advertisement for? Like the clinic? La Vie Clinic. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's funny. It's a Tinder joke. Well, clearly, yes. <laughs> well, not everybody might know what Tinder is. Okay, well, go Google Tinder. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to tell you what Tinder is. No. Google it. What do you think guys? This is one of the primary reasons we got a truck like this so we can explore these off the beaten path campsites. This is Spirit Mountain Road just outside of Cody, Wyoming and uh, we did find this on Campendium and on iOverlander. They're both apps that we've downloaded to our phones and we use them to find great places to camp. Wow, that looks really steep. Oh, we got it. Seriously? Seriously. Go okay, this way. please go this way. We have to take four-wheel drive, honey. Anyway, <laughs> would not recommend this for a regular RV. Uh, Campendium said a regular RV could make it up here. They probably wouldn't recommend it, though. I would say that is no. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't come up here. Oh. This is our site. Ben has found our campsite. What do you think? I think that this is like 360 degrees of amazing. I know. So just for the record, Cody is at 5,000 feet and we've probably climbed another three. Yeah, give or take. It's up here a ways. And it yeah, we out. could. All right, let's get level. Oh, stop, you're there. You just passed it, go back forward a little bit. Oh yeah, guys, we are seriously up here. Oh man, I don't know how close to this edge I want to get. All right, I'm gonna hang you over the edge. You tell me what's down there. What's down there? 
tell you what's not down there, me. Well, it's been um, maybe a week or so since you guys have been inside the rig with us and uh, we've made some improvements. I picked up a few things while Ben was in Alaska and then we picked up a few more things this morning at Walmart. So I thought we'd show you around. First of all, got some new table mats, which I love because I'm kind of going with this whole style then and, and they totally fit into that. We also got a new rug for down here and you can see Shelby's very interested in dinner right now even though she just ate her own. We also got this new ottoman this morning to keep our shoes in because there's really nowhere else to put them and then we ended up adding a few other things in there to store. It was really handy and it fits perfectly underneath the dinette here. Something we are really excited about is that we got this electric pump for the top of our five gallon water jug. So this is pretty handy. You just put your cup here, hit the button, fill it till you're ready, hit the button again and it turns off. The water jug is bungee corded in so it won't go anywhere. This is a Primo brand water jug and electric pump. We'll get these up on the Amazon store, so if you would like one, you can pick one up. I also hung a new fresh shower curtain. Nothing wrong with the old one, just this one's ours and fresh. Another thing that I've fine-tuned is the bathroom flooring. So we have a nice cushy mat here. When you're gonna shower, you take it out and lay it here so you're not walking on the dirty front door rug. Then you have a bamboo shower mat to stand on in there. Apologies for the noise in the background. Ben is making dinner, which we're gonna invite you to dinner here shortly so you can see what it's like to cook in here. But we did organize the refrigerator today and I thought I'd show you what we ended up doing. So you have two lids with this fridge and then a center divider. So all of the produce is on the top so that it doesn't freeze because that's been a real problem lately. And then we bought this to keep our eggs and cheese and kind of more delicate fruits in. The milk fit perfectly in between these uh, plastic containers and I've got a meat container here, a snacks container, then I've got, haven't really figured out what's going in this one right now, it's horseradish and a, and a bottle of coke. So much better because everything is just a jumbled mess. And if you're wondering what's for dinner. Caribou burger, spaghetti sauce, and pasta. And what's that make? Spaghetti dinner. I think we've only made a, a pot of rice so far on this diesel cooktop. So this is like the only actual burner. And then this side is kind of residual heat. So you, we're gonna kind of figure it out, but Dave said that you could cook bacon on that side when the thing is fully up to temperature. And then the controls for it are right here. And I have it set kind of a midway right now. So another challenge we shared with you guys was the bedroom. And since you last saw it, I've gotten our comforter out, the new duvet cover I picked up, got that washed and in place. And basically what we're doing now is we have a sheet that we fold up in case it's really warm, we can have a sheet to sleep under. And then we just have this out on the bed. And I got some of those little stretchy things with clips on the end for the sheets, uh, for, the, for the bottom sheet. And it is definitely a workout, but once it's on, the sheets stay in place and look much better. So a lot happier with the bed now. It's still kind of messy, but I've just given up on it. The other thing we've done that has really made it comfortable to lay in bed is uh, to mount the television. So we've got it on this swivel arm and uh, it's actually I think like the perfect height for us while we're laying in bed but we can also lean up against that back wall like a day bed style when it's raining and watch television from there. It is a uh 12 volt TV DVD player guys um, but right now we're having to turn the inverter on because I haven't like wired up outlets but when we get to Kansas and we start taking stuff apart I'm gonna wire in a bunch of 12 volt outlets and then you don't have to run the inverter 
to uh, watch a movie at night. One other thing that I am so happy Ben did for us was he installed these eye and hook uh, sets on all of the cabinetry so that now we can get rid of the bungee cords. Get rid of the bungee except cords for except this for this one. the broken one. This one broke. I tightened it down just a little too far. <laughs> we'll fix it. So we're back to bungees. Yeah. But it's so much better and we kind of doubled up because we go ahead and close these and then we have this. And uh, so far, even up this crazy bumpy road, all of the cabinetry stay closed and he did it on uh, our bedroom and the kitchen cabinetry. I'm not gonna lie, I am like itching to um, get a hold of some paint and start making the interior look more like us. Um, and so that'll come at my dad's because what we have realized is when you live in 13 by six and a half feet of space, there is no having a construction zone while you're living in said space. <laughs> you're gonna have to get out of it. I bought these new um, ceramic dishes. They're called Green Life. I haven't really made a judgment on them yet, but so far, like, I made the rice the other day and it yeah. didn't even stick. We just wiped the bowl out. We almost forgot to show you the most important thing. Sticking true to our Alaskan roots. We filled our freezer full of caribou, halibut, and salmon. You're going to have to take our word that it's in there because yeah. we are not unpacking this thing. But no. there's a solid 20, 25 pounds of uh, quality Alaska meat. All right, we're about to eat dinner, but I was just outside filming this totally epic time lapse of a storm, a thunder and lightning storm taking place in the canyon behind us. So it's lightning everywhere and there's thunder and since it's a canyon the sound is bouncing back and forth. It was so cool. We finished dinner though. We've got brown rice noodles and caribou spaghetti sauce. Ooh. <laughs> thunder as uh, entertainment <laughs> and berry salad for dessert. Thanks for joining us today. If you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join us on our trip around the world and we'll see you tomorrow.